Anyone who's attended recent demonstrations is encouraged to get tested for coronavirus. There are now two new sites in Seattle where you can get tested for free. They opened over the weekend on Aurora Avenue North and 6th Avenue South in the Soto District. You will need to make an appointment. And for more information, you can just text the word testing to 206-448-4545 and we will send you a link. Also, Governor Inslee wants to broaden the state's coronavirus testing program. Previously, testing was only encouraged for people with serious symptoms, but now the governor says the state has more supplies. Washington has received two-thirds of the testing supplies that had been promised by the federal government. Inslee wants at least 20,000 tests a day across the state, he says, in order to safely reopen and keep track of the spread of coronavirus. Mask requirement goes into effect across the state today. All businesses now required to have employees wear cloth face coverings at all times on the job. It also applies to servers, even if they are working in an outdoor environment. The only exception is for workers who don't share in office or for those with a medical condition. The new state rule will be enforced by the Department of Labor and Industries. Well, businesses are back open, but it's not business as usual for the most part. Over the weekend, the stay home order eased slightly in King County, moving the most populated county in the state into the next phase of reopening, although it's kind of considered a half step. King 5's Amity Adrisi now live this morning with what that means, this modified phase one. Amity, what does it mean? Well, we're going to be seeing things uh, that we haven't seen in months. As a matter of fact, Jake, you'll appreciate this. I got a call from a mutual friend of ours, a former King Fiverr, shocked that she saw people at a restaurant. She hadn't heard. Well, if you haven't heard, we are moving into that modified phase one reopening. 1 1.5 is actually what the city is calling it. So what's open and what's not? Well, we can hang out again. That's some good news. Gatherings of five people outside your home can come over and have a barbecue. Also, we can work out again. Well, sort of. Only staffed indoor fitness studios, which are yoga, karate, gymnastics, things of that nature, can welcome in students, but only five people per class. Gyms are not open yet, so I'm going to keep using that excuse. Non-essential retail stores can open at 15% capacity, and we can go to restaurants. Check out the scene at the Pancake Corral in Bellevue. Big smiles can be seen but you're not really behind the mask, but employees were very, very happy to be working again. And people were happy to be out of their homes. Again, restaurants are working in a limited capacity. So outdoor restaurant seating is allowed at 50% capacity, indoor at 25% capacity. The other thing that's opening, hair salons, barber shops. We can get our hair done now, Jake. I mean, I know you've been growing your hair out, but I... I know you're probably ready to get a haircut. It's going to look different there, too, 25% capacity. And when they do that amazing part where they're washing your hair in the bowl, they have to cover your face with a towel. Ah, so interesting. Yeah, yeah I, I, picking up a few hints there, my friend. I think I'm going to go get a haircut today. I like your hair. <laughs> I like it long. Keep it that way. All right, thanks. Well, we'll see you. See you tomorrow. See what happens later today. Thanks, Amity. Well, 26 counties now are in phase two of the governor's reopening plan. So what does that mean? Well, phase two increases outdoor recreational activities, such as camping. It also allows small group gatherings of five people or less. Barber shops and salons can reopen. Restaurants can reopen at 50% capacity with tables of five people or less.